Hi everyone, welcome back to another video, another Christmas winter craft. So I'm going to be starting with these. You just need one. This I painted from a previous project. They come in a pack of three. You can use half a bauble as well. This is just going to be the base for our wreath, which is also going to be like a centerpiece. And then you can use this wreath if you want it to be from Poundland. I'm going to be using this embroidery hoop just because I like the wooden look. Then I'm going to be taking two deer. These are from their tree decks. I'm just going to cut these off. I'm also going to be removing the little hoops because we don't need those. So I'm going to just grab my pliers to do that. They come out pretty easily. Now when it comes to your reindeers, you want to angle them to look like they are flying. That's the way that I'm designing mine. So I'm just going to try to stick these down where I have already angled them. It's annoying when you've got something in position and you want it to be perfect. And let's see the stag here. Do we need to move him a little bit? So I'm sticking the other one down just with its legs. A little hot glue there. And now the next step is to glue your wreath on to the bowl or the bauble, whatever you're using. Add in hot glue just on the bottom. And we're just going to hold that to set in the centre. So I've just changed the angle a little bit of the camera because I've stood this up and so it's kind of a bit difficult for you to see where my camera usually is. I'm going to be decorating around the wreath now and I'm taking some pine cones. These were off a wreath and they've got silver bits in there and I kind of thought it goes with the reindeers that I'm using. So I'm going to have a look, just play around really, but we're going to be using some pine cones and some baubles. I'm probably going to go with the gold and the silver just to keep in the colour scheme of things. So at the top of my wreath I'm going to be adding this Merry Christmas wooden embellishment. I have a few to choose from and I did settle with that one. There's also these if you want to go with like Poundland decorations and these are some that they have. So we're going to just add that to the top again using my hot glue. Just one blob in the centre. I'm actually going to go with the smaller pine cones, I think they look better. I might use a mix, but for now, let's stick this one here. And these are actually just from the park, I collected them myself. I'm going with the bigger one here. I'm just having a play around with the arrangement here. It does take a few attempts, just swapping things out off camera. These berries are also part of a wreath. Actually, they're the same wreath from the pine cones. And I just love getting things from like the, the charity shop thrift store and recycling and just reusing them like this. So I think I'm going to add these berries. It's a little bit long with the wire, so I'm cut them cutting that first and then sticking them on. I'm going to slip this through the tiny gap here. Then I'm taking these sprigs which were again off a wreath believe it or not. <laughs> again I'm going to be adding these in with my hot glue. I think I haven't put the right the glue in the right place. No I haven't. I thought I was going to use baubles along here, but the plan just keeps changing. I think that will look good there. At this point I have no idea if I'm going to use baubles at all. I'm going to keep this nice and simple. I think I'm going to just have this clean look. I don't think I'm going to add anything else here in terms of baubles or decorations. I'm thinking to add some fairy lights so we'll have a look at how that is going to come out if i'm not happy with it then 
we'll take that out of the plan as well. So I've decided if I'm going to be using fairy lights, it's just going to be on this area here. So I'm going to have a look. I might go without. But fairy lights do make everything just that much more magical. These are wire ones that I'm using. They're actually supposed to be for bottles. But I do like these. You can manoeuvre them around, which is great when you're working on a structure like this. And here's a completed project. This is without the LED lights on. And also I have stuck the bottle fairy light at the back of the greenery, so you really can't see it. I thought that worked out brilliant. I still have access to the on and off button, and I just added a drop of hot glue to stick that on, so you can do that too. I'm really happy with this. I think it's whimsical, it's classy, it's high-end, it's simple but just so beautiful. And it gets even better, even more magical even more beautiful when the room light is turned off. So what do you guys think of this project? I really hope that you give it a go. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.